the slow ball early in the innings. When the ball's really hard, it just tends to skid on. It's a really clever bowling. Oh, that's beautifully played as well. Time magnificently through point. They'll come back for two. Megan Schultz, she's so quick in the outfield. Like that was hit with some power, but Megan Schultz, she gets around the boundary so quickly. She kind of just plugged a little bit of a hole because she normally tries to go down on her knee and slide. So just got to be careful about that. But she definitely saved two runs there. Oh, hesitation. Oh. That's twice now. <laughs> That's twice by Elisa Healy to nearly run out Jess Watkins. So end of the seventh, it's one for 44. It's a classic keeper, isn't, isn't she, Elisa? <laughs> she is. Buzzing around. The keepers are uh, the key, aren't they? They drive all the energy out in the middle. They do. They make the fielders look good, make the average throws look good. And... Can we get down to Elisa Healy if we can? That would be... We need to find out what happened there. A big moment from the fig tree in for this young lady, George Wareham, who on debut for Australia, the leg spinner, her heart will be racing, her palms will be sweaty, even on a cold Sydney night. What a great moment for her. Well, in the practice match against the Cricket Australia 11 two days ago at Manly Oval, Meg Lanning bowled her in, in the first six. So put even more pressure on her. Uh, and she handled that situation really well. Obviously, Meg Lanning, her captain at Victoria, so she'd feel comfortable with her normally coming up. But what an occasion for Georgia Wareham right now. Warm up the hands, warm up the fingers. Here we go. The form at WNCL level's been impressive early this season. Oh. Maybe two's the call. Gee, this, that was better than maybe two. That just kept galloping away across this outfield. Shows how fast the outfield is there. It's going to put the pressure right back on Georgia, but um, heard Meg Lanning say throughout the week, she's got a great temperament, very level-headed, so she won't be too flustered, but... Pretty tough start, having a divine run straight straight at your first ball. Just a change now with the field, so 45 comes more to a mid-wicket region, which I think is a, is a good shout. So Devine's taken 17 off the last eight balls that she's faced. Well, down. She's hit pretty well again. Um, I'm sure it's the first of, of many to come, so play well. Yes. Great moment. Georgia Wareham earlier tonight. Really special moment. Yeah. And that's nicely played. Good coverage. And that cap pre presentation kind of comes off the back of a really strong winter program with the National Performance Squad. Toured with the under-19 Australian side that, that went to South Africa. Leo Poulton was the head coach and, and spoke about the fact that she didn't bowl a loose delivery the whole tour. And for a young leg spinner to be able to, to consistently land in the right areas, um, that's why she, you know, she's been elevated. And she trained a lot with Meg Lanning and Rachel Haynes in the National Performance Squad during winter, and they're all impressed with her. Hence why she gets this opportunity. So Watkins has been starved of the strike since those yeah, yeah. consecutive oh. boundaries, and she nicks one into a vacant third man area there. And that's, that's great bowling there. Um, outside edge, luckily you're going to run, run away for four, but you're happy with that as a bowler. You're annoyed it cost you two runs, but you feel like you're...